<laughs> Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy C Boy Bowling, and um, I'm coming through to give y'all the NBA after chat. Now, I was watching the Miami game versus the Chicago Bulls, and I yet I have continued to see Miami fail to 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 continue to play good basketball in the second half. They was up and up by double digits, and they failed to to continue to play the basketball. Derrick Rose just took over the game and was just balling on them, man. So Miami is just tripping, you know. So they lost by Chicago. They lost to Chicago by one. Had multiple opportunities to score the basketball. All they needed was one point, you know, one basket, and you know they. I don't know, like they don't know. They 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 don't know that. They have three players that is ready for this moment, and no nobody's trying to step up to it. It's like everybody's scared of that moment, and these are these are the, these are the players that that these players are supposed to step up to and live for. You know this this is why they're star players. This is why they're they're called superstars. When it comes down to it, like when it comes down to something like this, you guys have to be able to get ready to grab the ball and make the shots and be able to. To, to to lift your team when your team needs you, you know? And they have three of those three of those players that can do that and they just not doing it, you know. Uh I'm definitely saying I'm definitely starting to say bad coaching. Coach Sposer, your job is on the line, man. Uh, I'm not speaking from no source or nothing, but if I was the owner, your job would definitely be on the line cuz they uh, the only team that y'all really beat that was good is the Lakers and that was on Christmas Day. Y'all ain't really y'all ain't beat Boston. Y'all 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 ain't beat Boston. <laughs> y'all ain't beat Boston. Y'all ain't beat San Antonio. Y'all ain't beat Dallas. Y'all just y'all just got lucky with us and come Thursday it's game over. You know, we 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 we're gonna show you what revenge is. You know, we like revenge. So Lakers play the Spurs in San Antonio. The Lakers are on a six game win streak. The Spurs are on a twenty two game home game win streak. Twenty two straight games, franchise record. Lakers went in there and manhandled San Antonio. Score was thirty six to thirteen at the end of the first quarter. Sixty five to thirty seven at the end of the second. At the end of the at the first half, and the final score was eighty three to ninety nine. I think eighty three to ninety nine. Yeah, we won by sixteen sixteen points. And come on, destroyed the Spurs. Snapped it. We made them. Kobe didn't even play the whole fourth quarter. When Kobe got out of the game, we was up by thirty. You know what I'm saying? This is the two-time defending world champions. All the players look to be healthy, and um, of course, I'm a Laker fan. You know, I'm definitely enjoying it right now. You know, uh, <laughs> Kobe Bryant is just is is just an assassin, man. Did you see that three-pointer? In that fan's face that was talking shit. How can you talk shit to the greatest player on the planet? Why would you do that? Why you lucky didn't erupt? You lucky y'all was that that the Lakers was already up. Cause if the Lakers was down, Kobe probably would have erupted like a volcano on that motherfucker, man.